Welcome back to another video and in today's episode we will be creating some checkpoints. So let's go ahead, let's jump some obstacles over here. And now if we fall off the map, we are getting spawned back to our last checkpoint. Now I added checkpoints to all of these locations, but obviously you can add checkpoints wherever you like. And of course, this is replicated. So this is going to be a very simple idea. So let's go ahead and let's get started. First things first in the third person character. Let's go ahead and let's set up ourselves a variable which is going to hold the location of this last checkpoint. Also, of course, you could use this inside of your game mode or game instance. Uh, it all totally depends on you. Uh, if it's for a multiplayer, then maybe in the character itself, it would be a little bit of a better idea. So let's go ahead and let's call this last check point and let's make this into a vector because we need to store a location now let's go ahead and let's set up a quick function for this as well so let's go ahead and let's create a custom uh, custom event and i'm going to call this uh, teleport to location there we go now let's go ahead and let's provide this guy a input which is going to be the location where it's going to teleport the character uh, this needs to be then a vector and then from here we can set actor location very basic we're going to teleport ourselves to this specific location and that's pretty much it for now uh, now that we have done this let's go ahead and let's create the actual checkpoints so that we would save this location as well so i'm going to go ahead and create a regular actor and i'm going to call this check point now let's call this bp checkpoint BP checkpoint. Now, all I'm going to have for this is a box collision. I'm going to leave it in the default sizing. I'm going to go to the event graph, select the box itself, scroll to the very bottom and create the on uh, component begin overlap. And then from here, we are going to cast to the character. So we're going to cast to the character. And then from here, we can set uh, set checkpoint set last checkpoint so we're going to set the location and the location for this one is going to be this actors this checkpoints location so all, all i'm going to do is right click anywhere on the screen and get actor location and this is going to return me the location of this uh, this checkpoint actor and then we can plug that in like so there we go so we can compile and save this all good now let's go ahead and let's put this somewhere in the level so let's say I'm gonna have a checkpoint over here and we need to scale this up a little bit so that the box is bigger so that we can actually hit the box better and one more thing that I would suggest is not put this don't put this directly on the ground bring this a little bit higher just a couple of units so that you make sure that the character doesn't spawn inside of the object uh, because if you're gonna spawn it inside of the object it may fall through the ground so uh, this is going to be the checkpoint for me. There we go. And now we need to set up something that is actually going to respawn us. So uh, before that, let's actually go ahead and let's add a couple of more checkpoints. Just to just so that we have something yeah, that's going to be good enough. And let's set up the respawning zone. So for that, again, a regular actor. And let's call this BP, let's call this dead zone. BP dead zone. And again, let's go ahead, let's create ourselves a box collision, event graph, select the box, till the very bottom, and on begin overlap. Then we're going to cast to the character again. And from here, we need a couple of things. So first, we need to teleport to location. And also, from the character, we need to get the last checkpoint, so that we get the last checkpoint's location, and it's going to teleport us to that specific location so now now that we have done that let's go ahead let's bring our dead zone into our level uh, this is a little high somewhere around here maybe even lower so that we can actually fall and let's scale this up because we our character needs to fall inside of this area otherwise this isn't going to work so let's go ahead let's make that let's make this a little bit lower so now let's hit play and let's give it a test. So now if we jump, there we go. And if we fall through, there we go. We are getting spawned back to that location. So now let's jump to the next one and maybe even to the next one. So we're on the third one, fall down, 
There we go. This seems seems to work just fine. Now, if we would test this on the multiplayer, though, uh, this is not really going to work. So let's go ahead and let's just test this out real quick. So we jump over here, we fall down. So you can see it worked for that character that time, but this sometimes does tend to have some issues. Uh, so one of the issues is we don't have a default checkpoint location. Uh, so that's one of the issues. So if we fall off the ground right off the bat, then we have an issue. So let's go ahead and let's create a checkpoint where we are beginning the game so that we no longer have that issue. So this is all right. So we can jump off and it's going to respawn us back to where we should be. Whoops. Here we go. We jump one checkpoint, two checkpoint, third checkpoint, fall down. Hmm, interesting. This is still making us respawn, even though there were a couple of issues that were not allowing the respawn to happen but this does seem to be all right which is quite strange i expected to have some issues uh, so anyways if you are having these issues and if you have any problems that the characters do not get really respawn like they should uh, which i actually expected it would then go ahead and open up your checkpoint and the dead zone both of these blueprints select the class defaults for them and make sure that they are replicated so replicate those actors. There we go. Once you have done that, go ahead, go back to your third person character and make sure you replicate the last checkpoint variable as well. So we have that replicated. And the next thing would be that this event right here should be ran on server. And then uh, we have ran that on server. Now everything should be fully replicated. As you can see, there is this mark next to the variable this these two white thingies that means it is replicated as you can see over here as well so now you definitely shouldn't have any issues with making this fully replicated so let's go ahead and let's test this once more if i can make the jumps there we go fall off there we go so everything seems to be functioning. So this was a re really, really quick and simple tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I made this because I noticed that quite a few people on my Discord were creating checkpoint systems similar to this one. So I thought maybe it would be a good idea to make a tutorial on this one. Also to make it replicated. And yeah, do it as simple as possible so that you can get your checkpoints ready to go as soon as possible so yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe leave a like comment all that good stuff join my discord subscribe to my patreon and i see you in the next one